I'm Jessica Cartalia with your evening digital news brief for Monday, October 19, 2020. An arrest has been made in a deadly hit and run crash in Montgomery County. Prosecutors say 25 year old Terrell Russell of Philadelphia was driving a rented 2020 GMC Acadia when he hit Shanna Hurdle last month. She died at the scene. Authorities say they tracked down Russell using rental company records. He's charged with leaving the scene of an accident involving death and tampering with evidence as well as other charges. Philadelphia is seeing a disturbing upward trend in violence. The city's shootings and homicides are significantly higher than this time last year. According to the police department's latest major crimes report, homicides in Philadelphia are up more than 34% from this time last year. Shooting incidents are up nearly 59%. A reminder that we have gun violent resources on our website, cbsphilly.com. And since that report came out, we have more shootings to add to that list. Police responded to a shooting this afternoon in Kansas. Police say that one man is fighting for his life after he was shot at least six times on the 600 block of Lippincott Street. Another man was shot once and is in stable condition. Both are at Temple University Hospital. Police say that an arrest has been made. Now to campaign 2020, top Biden and Trump surrogates are stumping in our region today. Eyewitness News in Morrisville, Bucks County. Dr. Jill Biden visited the Snipes Farm and Education Center where she talked about the importance of registering to vote and voting early. The road to victory runs right through Pennsylvania. Vice President Mike Pence speaking to supporters this evening at Skyport Aviation in New Cumberland. That's close to Harrisburg. Tomorrow, President Trump is expected to travel to Erie, Pennsylvania. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.